I really like servicing these boilers. Here we are on another boiler service. I'm going to show you how to clean out the Green Star CDIs when they've got the rectangular heat exchanger. Best thing you need for this is the cheese grater tool. You can get this from Worcester or the merchants. But these are great to clean out. I actually enjoy cleaning these. You need 10 mil socket to take the two nuts off. A lot of the time as well, it's easier to disconnect. These, just so the wires don't get caught or trapped. Let's have a little look. As you can see, this one is quite caked up. That's not too bad, actually. Let's give this a good clean out. So I'll give this a little flush through as well. I saw on Dan Central Heat Kings that he's got like a Kartra jet wash that he uses for boilers. I really like the look of it. Take a look at the electrodes. Too bad. It's got to always be really gentle with those. You don't want that snapping. Let's give them a light brush. So there you have it. Done. He's back. Check the seals all intact. You can just go straight back on. This might be a handy tip for someone. You have this symbol, it's like an inverted or a plus or an inverted H, I always call it, for some strange reason. That's a siphon fill mode and it happens anytime the power is turned off to this boiler. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes before it goes into high flame, which can be really annoying if you're under time constraints and you're trying to work on it. The way to turn this off is you hold the spanner button for about eight to 10 seconds till it goes orange and you'll see the display change to 1A. Ah, it's actually gone straight to 4F for me. So normally, this would be down on 1A. It would start off like that. Then I would cycle through using the Eco or the Suitcase button. Eco is up, Suitcase is down. And we want to get to 4F. When we get to 4F, you press the chimney sweep. And that will show you 01 means on. We want 00 to turn siphon fill mode off. So you press the suitcase, hold down the chimney sweep again, and you'll get the two brackets. 
that will tell you it's saved and here straight away the boiler goes up to high flame and we press the spanner to come out back into the normal settings so we're just stabilizing the analyzer and i'm going to put the boiler into minimum mode so we hold the chimney sweep button Then you'll get three lines that's maximum so we turn it down to the snowflake you'll get two dashes analyzer has zeroed so let's check we've got our readings there save them we can transfer these onto our form later and we then turn it up to maximum by turning the dial to max see the six lines or three lines come again Uh, the CO is stabilized, so we'll save that as well. And we've got good analyzer readings, all in line with the manufacturer's instructions. I got one of these from 8 Bit Ghost. This is the duct, and this is to do your, see little duct there, your air intake. And this slots perfectly into there. Pop that in first, and do your air intake. Slide the probe in. First time I've actually used it, it's a little bit stiff. Gives you that there. Slides in perfectly. But that is quality tool. Check out 8 Bit Ghost, his eBay. I might try and get him to pop a link in the comments because he does some great products. Here's just a couple of others, face savers. We've got an angled one as well for really tight positions. And we've got good readings on there too. Hey guys, next job up is servicing a Worcester 8000. Um, it's his first year service, so I'm going to do a little walkthrough with that. And it should be a nice, simple one. It's his first year service. So basic things, clean out the contents, analyzer readings. Um, yeah, I'll go through a couple of the settings on there maybe. And you should see it now. So that was the Worcester 8000 having its first service. I hold my hands up. I've never actually serviced one of those before. So I had a little look through the service instructions using Your Gas Vault, which is a really good app. 
I have, I think it's about £14 a, a year. Um, really handy because it's got all of the manufacturer's instructions or all the pages you would need when you're out in the field doing services, breakdowns. And it's all there. You're not filtering through things and trying to find the relevant page to you. You know, it's got different sections. So that's a really good app for anyone looking for something like that and anyone doing, well, any kind of gas work really. It's really handy to have your gas fault um so yeah job went well customers happy no issues so on to the next one